Hey, I'm excited about this. The Fireworks Festival and Freedom Fair return July 14th, 2018 from 4 to 10 p.m. downtown Newcastle. Now, it's a community celebration brought back by Life by Dawn. Children's activities, live entertainment, street vendors, petting zoo, Zambelli fireworks at 10, bands, train wreck, okay, Eugene and the Nightcrawlers, Lawrence County Brass Band and Dante Thomas Swing Band will be there. Vendors, you know, are welcome and volunteers. For more information, you can call 724-652-5144, extension 181, and ask for Shelly McConnell. Now, we're going to take this break, and when we return, a whole bunch more on Every Now and NC TV 45, Newcastle, The Train. Hey, when you need to get out and have just a little bit of a relaxing afternoon, morning, I got a great idea. Why don't you go play around the golf? And you don't have to go to the big courses, be crowded off. No, go a short drive route right up Route 18 to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, and you'll see Moreland's. A great par 3 golf course, Moreland's. Just right for you. Welcome to News Watch. You know, a lot of kids get free and reduced lunch during the summer or during school year. And during the summer, they have nothing. Well, this program is underway at the Newcastle Community. Why? Once again, they're offering these free meals to children under 18 years of age. So 18 and younger. The meals are Monday through Friday. 11.30 to 12.30, and a snack from 2.30 to 4. Now, they won't be serving on the 4th of July. However, we have these programs and locations out, and we'll make sure that when you're watching News Watch, you'll see them. Now, we're going to take this break, and we'll return with a whole lot more on News Watch right after this. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now it's in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side, and all Cedars e 724-658-9260. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens and many challenging shots your crowd will applaud a short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood and Youngstown it's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner Report and let's get to Major League Baseball well the Pirates visiting the Mets and um, now approximately nine, ten games out. Hopefully the Bucks can start to put something together to keep it within distance as we bear down on July. Now, the Cleveland Indians, they're visiting the St. Louis Cardinals and boy, wouldn't it be nice to get a little help from the tribe. Elsewhere, Yankees are in Philadelphia. Probably get a cheesesteak there. The Athletics, they're taking on the Tigers. The Twins visiting the White Sox. The Cubs are at the Dodgers, the Nationals, taking on the Devil Rays of Tampa Bay. Now, the Mariners are visiting the Orioles. You've got the Angels. They came across 
the country to go see the boys in Beantown. They're taking on the Red Sox. Diamondbacks are at the Marlins. The Reds are at the Braves. Padres at the Rangers. Royals at the Brewers. And the Blue Jays, they're taking on the Astros. The Rockies and the Giants, they're the late game. And uh, that's your Major League Baseball report. Now, tune in, and I'd like to thank a lot of people for... Uh, their kind comments with our game of the week. Uh, unfortunately, we've met up with a lot of rain, but uh, last Sunday we had the downtown Jacks taking on Castlewood, and we'll have another game of the week this week as we get to July and uh, check out Beaver Lawrence County Semi Pro Action right here on NCTV 45. Now we're going to take this time out and we'll be right back a whole bunch more. special thanks going out to town mall pizza for sponsorship of this program located in the cascade galleria newcastle hello welcome to news watch this in from aaron bernstein concerning lobbyists and taxation on uh, <laughs> going to have to listen to this. This is like containers, certain products. I want you to pay close attention. Now we'll go to Aaron. Hey guys, it's State Representative Aaron Bernstein. I wanted to share something. I always try to bring up pieces of legislation that are really interesting to you, or that I think would be interesting to you. And I wanted to share, share this legislation with you. So a very good friend of mine, uh, State Representative Mark Mustio, introduced a bill. This bill is House Bill 2241, uh, as you can see right here, 2241, if you want to look it up. Um, in summary, what this bill does is this bill prohibits municipalities, so that's the borough you live in, the township you live in, the city you live in, whatever you live in, from adding individual taxes on certain types of food. So they add like additional ta sales taxes, those types of things. Um, this is absurd. This is the kind of stuff that local governments are starting to resort to because they don't have their financial house in order. House Bill 2241, I'm on, um, super supportive of this, what, rep what Representative Mustio has done. Now here's the kicker behind this. This bill passed out of committee, and I want to share with you what happened out of committee. Fifteen Republicans voted to stop municipalities from adding taxes on food. That means they could add a tax on pizza if they wanted to do it on pizza, on celery, uh, individual specific things. They could add it on pop. They could add it on whatever they wanted to. Now, of these, 15 Republicans voted to stop allowing municipalities to tax uh, people individually for the food that they're buying. And one voted to allow it to happen. Two Democrats voted to not allow it to happen. Eight Democrats voted for the tax to happen. Now, this is something really absurd. I consistently talk about these taxpayer-funded lobbying groups. That's the Boroughs Association, the Township Association, those types of groups. What these taxpayer-funded taxpayer funded lobbyists do and by the way they joke about it in this building like it's hilarious I'm here in the Capitol this evening again here is a particular letter from the Pennsylvania State Association of Township Supervisors it says that they oppose the bill that would prohibit a municipality from imposing a fee surcharge sales tax tax on gross receipts excise tax or other tax on food and beverages, food and beverage containers, so they can literally say, well, hey, that plastic, we want to add an additional tax onto that, or the supply, acquisition, delivery, distribution, or transport of food and beverage and food and beverage containers, meaning transportation, they think that they should be able to add an additional tax by that. Right here, a taxpayer-funded lobbyist group. So, listen, we are working extremely hard um, to try to stop this from happening. It is absolutely ludicrous. 
taxpayer-funded lobbying groups are consistently pushing forward an agenda that municipalities like the ones that you live in should be able to go and tax you more so they can get more money to spend. Taxpayer-funded lobbyist groups are continuing to do this. you got to fight against them. Reach out to your township if you're in a township. Reach out to your borough if you're in a borough. That's pretty much all that I have in my area. And tell them, do not be members of these quote-unquote associations, which they pay to be, which then go out and try to raise your taxes and are advocating for higher taxes for you. If you're paying taxes in your, in your township or your borough is a member of these groups, they're advocating to, to have you pay higher taxes on pop, pizza, uh, candy bars, whatever else it is. Uh, go fight the fight, folks. Reach out to your local officials. Tell them no more taxpayer-funded lobbyist groups. Have a great evening. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Aaron, for that message. And uh, Newswatch is going to continue right after we take this break. Nico and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero Turn Country Clippers, Baby USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-6911. Delvin Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities. Lush fairways and great greens. And many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Take a step back into time at Lombardo's Apothecary. At 1230 South Mill Street, we'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather. And uh, well, what can you say? Uh, not a bad Monday, but after last night's mostly clear, low of 54. How's your Tuesday looking? Mostly sunny. Yes, a high of 79. Now, Tuesday night, clouds will build in. Mostly cloudy. An overnight low of 66. The chance of rain is 40%. Now, uh, Wednesday... Yes, uh, cloudy, 79, and the chance of rain bumps up to 80%. Wednesday night, well, expect those cloudy conditions to continue. Overnight low, 66, chance of precipitation, 70%. Now on Thursday, things clear out and partly sunny, a high of 80. Thursday night, Partly cloudy, a low of 64, and Friday, mostly sunny, and 88. Here comes the heat, folks. Friday night, mostly clear, a low of 68, and then Saturday, sunny and hot, 92. Saturday night's not going to be your best sleeping night, as it'll be mostly clear with a low of 72. And then Sunday, Mostly sunny, hot, 92. So you're looking at a really warm week once we pass the rain. And uh, and we're heading into that 4th of July, middle of the week. So uh, we'll take a look. Now this was Lawrence County 45 weather. And we'll be right back after these Standing messages. By. At our law firm... We see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Peppers. Mouth-watering fruit. 
fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and ethnic foods. Yes, it's Joseph's. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a Newcastle a try. The right small town for living. Look around. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Well, that's going to do it for this Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in to NCTV 45's nightly news. We appreciate your viewership, your sponsorship. And the fact that we know you tell a friend about NCTV 45. It makes us feel good inside, and I'm sure it does the same for them. Now, uh, make sure you have a pleasant evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night. Got my ticket for the midnight plane And it's not easy